Now, normally when I add a bass line to a song, because I'm a keyboard player, I would simply add a new track with the plus here. I would select a keyboard instrument and I would normally just play in a bass line. If you actually uh, click on the downward facing arrow while we're in the instrument that was loaded up, we can change the sound. So I can scroll down here and look for bass. And then you can see there's all these fantastic bass sounds. So I would normally maybe pick, pick a bass sound and then just play something in like this. And then that's just a straight up performance and I can change the octave on this keyboard down by hitting this arrow here, minus one. So that's the way I'd normally do it, but GarageBand have actually included a fantastic feature for people who are more familiar um, with a bass guitar. So if you're a bass player, so I'm going to actually delete this track and instead of using the keyboard, I'm going to use the Smart Bass tool because there's some excellent features. Here it is here. And I'm going to select the Smart Bass icon right here. Okay, so this will now give you a view. Um, basically, it looks like a bass guitar. And this is determined by the key that you've set your song in the song settings. So by default, I'm pretty sure if I select this cog item right here, this is the settings and choose song settings. By default, the key signature is set to C major. So in C major on this view, this will basically give you notes within the chord of whatever uh, it has specified up the top here. So when this one here that says C will play me a C, that's a fifth above, that's a G, that's the octave, and that's the third. These are notes within the F chord, notes within the G chord, and notes within the D minor chord. So I can record that if I like, and I can hit this record button right here, and I can record a short performance. Okay, so if I was to um, set the, the song to a minor chord under song settings, a minor a key signature rather. So I change up from ma major to minor. These notes will change. Now that's an F minor. Okay, so I'm going to now delete that performance by going back out to the track view and double clicking on that region and delete. I don't want to keep that. And I can go back to the Smart Bass tool with this icon here. Um, there are some other fantastic features here. So what you can do is get this to play automatic um, beats for you with the Smart Controls on this icon here. And there's an autoplay feature. So if you just click on this, it will activate just a preset and we can, there's four different presets. There's another one. And we can record this performance if we like by hitting record. Okay, so that's recorded. Um, I, you don't have to actually keep your finger on them. You just tap it once and that will activate whatever autoplay feature you have there. And you can actually edit that performance back in the other screen here, the track view. You can pop the region down like that and you could double click and select edit. And if any of those notes weren't to your liking, you can change them here. Okay, so there, 
they were off the screen there. Let's have a listen to that last bit there. Okay, so that will give us a, a pretty good loop. And then let's go back into that smart bass instrument again, because there is another way we can record bass, which is more traditional by hitting this little icon right here. We'll switch us to a fretboard view and you can play it like a standard bass guitar. The open notes are on this fret here. So these are the actual notes. That would be an E, an A, a D, and a G. And you can even do pitch bend by holding it and bending it up. And you can record that performance. And if you like, you can change the sound of the bass guitar by this uh, downward facing arrow on the top left hand corner. And we currently have the Liverpool bass selected, but there are different basses here. And because I've already recorded a performance, it's going to play back that performance with a different sound now. And we can uh, select a electronic uh, instrument if we like. Let's have a listen to this one. This is an electronic synth bass. Okay, and one other feature we have in this view is the ability to lock it into a scale. So if we want to lock this into a minor scale, So all of the frets are now locked into a minor scale and that's determined by the key of the song that you have selected in the song settings also. And there's all kinds of um, different scales that you can do a mixolydian if you know anything about music theory, a Dorian scale, harmonic minor. But there we go. Okay, so I'm actually going to keep one of the real bass sounds here. I'm going to change that back to the Liverpool bass. Let's see whether that one's a good one to keep. That's fine for the moment. So that's how you use the smart bass instrument in GarageBand.